Good morning, church. How's everybody doing? Good to see everybody. It's actually good to be home because I'm originally from Waxahachie, Texas, and my wife and I currently live in eastern Tennessee. And if you'll pray for me, Mexican food doesn't live in eastern Tennessee. I don't care what anybody says. They do not have Mexican food. So anyway, my name is Jake. This is my buddy Chris. It has been a privilege for us to serve the student ministry here at the Cowboy Church of Venice this weekend. And we've seen the Lord move in a very impactful and mighty way, as only He can do, because He is the only one that can change hearts. Uh, when Isaiah prophesies, he says, Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord, the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, does not grow weary or tire. Uh, his understanding is... Uh, inscrutable. He gives strength to the weary, and to him who lacks might, he increases power. And he says, though youths grow weary and tired, and vigorous young men stumble badly, yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary, and they will walk and not grow faint. And so this is the God that we worship this morning, and we have an opportunity to do that. So you'll find the words there in your little worship guide as we sing along, uh, feel free to join us in worship of this wonderful Creator this morning. Amen? Amen. Yeah. 
everlasting God. You do not faint, you won't grow weary. You're the defender of the weak. You comfort those in need. You lift us up on who wings like
knowing that for every step you were with us, kneeling on this battleground, seeing just how much you've done, knowing every victory was your power in us. Scars and struggles on the way, but with joy our hearts can say, yes,
yourself to send your one and only son into the world and that he would die for the iniquity and for the sin of fallen humanity. Those of us in this room this morning, those of us in the entire world this morning that chose rebellion over perfect fellowship with the Creator God. Jesus did make a way. He did pay it all. So everything about our lives, we owe to Him out of gratitude, out of obedience, because He has saved us from a life of sin and death that we might be restored to a Heavenly Father and not have to face His wrath because that was absorbed upon the cross. 
So we embrace that this morning. We are thankful for it, for those of us that are in Christ Jesus this morning. And if there is anybody within the sound of my voice this morning that doesn't understand that, that hasn't come to a knowledge that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world and that He is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father except through Him, may you hear the Holy Spirit's beckoning call this morning as He softens your heart. The message of the gospel is simple, Father, and we thank you so much for that. We thank you that simple minds like ours can, can believe that can with a childlike faith and turn from our sin, turn from our fallen state and pursue you instead of the things of this world. So thank you, Father. We enjoy you and we enjoy your presence in this place. And we pray this in the powerful name of our Savior and King, Jesus Christ. Amen.